we are uh, in the process uh, at the moment of recording what I call the narrative works of Schutz. Um, Schutz wrote a lot of music um, and it's interesting because he was composing at a time um, when the style had changed to what we call the Baroque. Um, and indeed he composed in that style, but he also looked back uh, at the Renaissance style of polyphony and the two are always sort of meeting in his music. So in the works we're doing, um, you have three passion settings, which are entirely unaccompanied, just a small choir, and then a, a few soloists who sing unaccompanied, telling the story. Um, and it, that's a rather sort of bare uh, kind of sound. But um, at, when you have someone like Schutz composing the music, I think it becomes extremely compelling, whether it's just one voice singing at it um, by himself and, and telling the story or hearing the various interruptions from the other characters or hearing the comments sung in polyphony by the chorus. It becomes, once you get used to that sound world, it becomes, I think, very dramatic, actually. For the Carpe Records, it's, um, it's very important for us that we work with people ensembles that actually fits into what we would like to stand for as a record company. And um, in terms of Paul Hillier and the Ars Nova, Copenhagen, of course, it's a perfect match for us. Um, Paul is a conductor who works a lot with the room that he actually records in. Um, so we have, it's very easy for us to actually find how to do perfect balanced sound. There are two pieces, the Christmas history, to use the English title, and the resurrection history, um, which tell the stories of, of those two events. And these are both with instruments, um, so there's a more uh, concerted feel. Um, I wouldn't say it's a very large orchestra, about a dozen instruments at the most, but it's quite a rich sound. And the style there is more uh, distinctly and obviously Baroque style. Um, and then in the one little piece that we are actually recording at the moment, which is called The Seven Last Words, um, there are a couple of instruments plus an organ uh, but most of it uh, is, is just sung with an organ accompaniment. Um, and yet, it, I think it's actually one of the finest pieces of all. Um, again, we have, there's a sort of meeting of the, the polyphonic style of the Renaissance and the declamatory style of the Baroque. But the, the point is that the subject matter is so grave, so somber in a very beautiful way. Um, and the music kind of takes over in a way that perhaps one doesn't expect. Thank you. 